The cold weather is here, and if your prints are starting to lose adhesion, you're not alone. Here are two quick fixes that make a huge difference. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. Today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of you are starting to run into right now, printing in cold weather. It just hit 40 degrees here in Arizona. Yeah, that's cold for us. And that means my open frame printers like my Bamboo A1, my A1 Mini, and even my Anycubic Cobra 3 are officially entering the danger zone if I print overnight. Sure enough, the other morning I walked into my garage to check on a print and one of my supports had completely detached from the bed. Thankfully, the print didn't fail, but losing a support like this is a warning sign. And honestly, the most likely cause is simple. The heat bed cooled too much because ambient temperature in the garage dropped. So in this video, I'm going to show you two quick tips that will help prevent cold weather printing issues and keep your prints sticking even if your printer lives in the garage. And real quick, if you're enjoying these tutorials, hit that like button and drop me a comment letting me know. It seriously helps out the channel more than you think. And to everyone that has been helping me out with more engagement on my recent videos, I am forever in your debt. The first thing that we're going to do is bump up the temperature on our bed by 5 degrees Celsius. In my garage, adding just 5 degrees is enough to stop the cold weather adhesion issues. And if you live somewhere that gets snow and your garage drops into the teens or lower, I highly recommend you build an enclosure for your printers. That alone will drastically reduce the cold related print failures. So the first thing that we're going to do is click the filament icon next to your selected filament. This is only going to adjust the selected filament profile, so you're going to need to repeat this for the others. Scroll down to the print temperature section, choose your bed type. I use the textured PEI plate and it's currently set to 65 degrees. Now I'm going to increase my initial layer bed temperature to 70. The next thing you need to do is save your profile. So click the save icon and give it a preset name. I like to add the word winter in the front just so that it stands out to me. Now you've got a dedicated filament profile tuned for the cold weather. So back on the preview page, over here on the left hand side, make sure that you have your new profile selected when you're printing. The next thing I like to do is increase my support brim size. Supports are usually the first thing that fail in cold temperatures, so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go into the support tab in the process menu, scroll down to the initial layer expansion. This controls your support brim size. Setting this to 8 is going to be sufficient enough for most prints. For taller models, you can go ahead and bump it up to 10 for that little bit of extra hold. Larger support brims help keep everything locked to the bed when the environment gets a little chilly. Now if you want, you can always create a user preset with these changes. Go up to this drop down menu, click on the disk icon, give it a name. You can add winter to this as well. And then now you'll have this preset ready for you to use in the winter time. All right, that's going to wrap up this quick guide to printing in cold weather. Hopefully these tips help you avoid those random adhesion issues as the temperature starts to drop. If you've got your printers in the garage like I do, a few small adjustments can make a massive difference. If you've got any cold weather tips, drop them in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, drop a comment, letting me know what temperatures you're printing in and what issues you're running into. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I've got a lot more 3D printing tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching, stay warm, and I'll see you in the next one.